this is the outflow campground of the I'm going to mispronounce it again, Unangahila River, Lake. Now these are some pretty nice sites here too. Let's check the outflow here. This is water that's coming from the uh, dam being released. It's quite clear. And I'm sure it's quite cold. And there's the outlet. Looking downstream where it just came from. And here's the dam. It's been a lovely fall day. Look, they got these benches and picnic tables. Sit here and look at the water or have a picnic. Tree with some residual 4th of July decorations. This is the uh, main picnic area. Capped with a pilgrim's hat. This is some kind of a scientific measurement, measuring station. Look at this uh, limestone layers. There's the outlet and generating station. Not very big. Look at these birds, bird hotels. Well, they even mow here. Okay, that's a road that goes across the dam. So I'm gonna hike up to it, walk across to the power plant. Look, the squirrels are getting ready for winter. They're storing food away. The view just keeps getting better and better. They have ancient artifacts here, technologically speaking. And what might this be? They got a restroom. Restrooms. Anything else? Is it like a visitor center? Pronounce it if you can. I think they shorten it for you. Yo, you. Whatever it is. I'm at the dam. And this is a long lake. It extends all the way down to Maryland. There's the uh, Maryland line. And look, Shelby Sport, Maryland. In Garrett County, Maryland. Where are all the boats? No fishing boats? Don't see or hear any. Okay, this is looking towards the campground. And you, to the right, as you follow them down, is Confluence. That's where the Yahanganhili, whatever it is, and the Castleman River meet in the little town of properly named Confluence. There's a road that comes in from the south, goes to that parking lot. And I don't know if you can drive across the dam We'll find out. I'm in the twilight zone. What do I mean by that? Well, looking straight ahead, you see the sunlight is upon the road, but where I'm standing, it's kind of fading, 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 because the sun is going behind the ridge. It's twilight. Hey, but walking forward and look, there's a shadow now. I just found my shadow. I'm following my shadow across the dam here. So it really is 
the Twilight Zone. This was built during World War II. That's amazing. You think projects like this would have stopped? I guess this is the measuring post. From this angle, it has a fortress appearance. Now, this is a boat launch area, so there are a few fishermen. This is one of the Corps engineers' dump trucks. Look at that grill on the front. What's that for? Pushing logs out of the way? Now, this is one big rig here. It's a four wheel drive. Look at that big old trailer's hauling. It's probably for a small bulldozer. And this is the uh, dump area. Odds and ends, trees, and even threw away some dumpsters. They dumped the dumpsters. Can you say spill way? It's a great place to play. The spill way. Well, this is kind of intriguing. These dumpsters out here. Let's do some dead dumpster diving. Hope there's no bodies in here. Hello? Hello? It's empty. Whew, thank goodness. Look at all the flowers. And the sumac trees there. Look at that. Where are you going? I'm going to Scotty's place. A hula bobby girl. Bobby Doll, I guess you'd call him Bobby Doll. You know, they bob back and forth. And look, he's got a, he's, his truck's wearing a mask. This guy's really, these uh, Steelers fans are really conscious about COVID. What kind of bird is that? It's not a whippoorwill. Okay, here's the uh, boat launch. That's a nice one. It's a long one, too. I guess it's because the lake's down a little bit. <clears throat> These guys are fishing. And look at this covered picnic area with the grills. This is great. Wow, this thing is brand spanking new. I don't think it's ever been used. The charcoal and steak out. The shelter's new as well. Look at the beans. I'd say this is money well spent. Well, the season is over with. This is for fall, summer season. A fun and frolicking and swimming is over. They pulled in the yellow swimming pier. And it looks like they're restocking the beach with some sand for next year. And they have some nice restroom facilities up here. Look, amongst all this dark stone, looks like a chunk of quartz. The last rays of the day. Here in the river valley. Look, here's some examples of tar art, not to be confused with tar heels. This is an eagle, and this is a serpent on a tree. And this would be an Indian maiden sowing uh, seeds, maybe. Look at the way the roof is constructed on the resource manager's building. Pretty impressive pile of rock. We're talking lots and lots of berries. And they're fresh, squeezable. Look at that. Where's old buddy bear at? I hope he's not underneath here. It's an old pile, a pear tree. There must have been a farmstead around here at one time. Almost looks like ammo cans. Must be some kind of instrument, scientific instrument up there. 
Look at this, this is this cool. Here it is. From the lily bull. Where's the hopping frogs? I guess they've all hopped back in the water. Look, there's a group picnic area with a fire ring, firewood. Bring on the s'mores. Yay, Fayette County is recycling. Way to go. And look, somebody has even recycled some rocks. This is some kind of spruce. But look how small it is. It's more like a shrub bush. A big shrub bush. Look at the water rushing out of there. Alright. Here we have, unfortunately, the bad picnic tables. It looks like they're in the penalty box. I wonder what they did wrong. And who says horseshoes is not a spectator sport? The squirrels have been tossing hickory nut shells. I wonder what kind of game they up with. Another new covered picnic area. And look at this. Isn't this cool? It's a solar charging station. I guess you could have a picnic here too. This is so cool. The Lynx. Power up green. I'm Lynx solar powered picnic table that will provide electricity day or night off the grid. Cell phones, laptops, tablets. Other handheld devices. He's got his dog with him. At night time there are some strange creatures here in, in the campground. Especially this time of year. Look at him. Oh, the mackerel. Look, they even got a witch here guarding. The crone witch is guarding the, the number pole. These folks get my vote for the Haint Award. This is some kind of Halloween shrine. <laughs> 